Hey, what's going on guys? Well, today I want to talk about cigar cutters. All right, I'm going to give you a demo of my favorite with those cigars that are up top there at the end of the video. So first off, as you can see here, I've gone through a bunch of different uh, cigar cutters. This is, believe it or not, not all of them. I probably have four or five other ones. I just, they're misplaced at the moment, so I can't find them. Um, but these are the ones that I've used since I got into cigars. So um, there's no particular order here. I'll try to go with the oldest to the newest. This is probably one of the oldest cigar cutters that I have. Um, and this one is made by Calibri, I believe. I think it's on the blade, yeah. If you can maybe see that. Here we go. Calibri. All right, and this was not cheap. I love the design. I think it's awesome. There's a little button here, so it's always under spring tension. So you pull the button down, they shoot open. All right, nice and sturdy, easy to grab. All right, you can set your cigar inside here. All right, get the correct length you want. Put the blades on either side and snip. Okay, and once you snip it, it stays shut and locked, right? Well, I like this in the beginning because I had no experience with any other cutters. Unfortunately, even though these are fairly expensive, in my opinion, um, the blade quality or blade steel, it doesn't really hold an edge very much. So even though this one is heavily used, okay, and it is dull, um, and I believe I can take this apart. You can see a little flathead screws. I haven't really messed with this yet, um, but I will try to take it apart and try to, uh, to sharpen these up. Um, I was actually disappointed. Uh, I don't have an exact count as to how many cigars I was able to cut with this before I had problems, but I'll tell you that I stopped using this once it started tearing cigars. All right, so although I'm sure there's a way to take this apart and sharpen those blades, easy it is not. All right, so that one, unfortunately, doesn't get used. I love the design, just didn't last the test of time, okay? Then I got into using um, scissors, which I thought were super classy. I like the fact that it is nice and exposed so that I can easily sharpen these blades, which I have before. But again, unfortunately, as nice as these look, uh, and these are just no-name scissors, there's no branding on these, uh, this steel just does not want to hold an edge for long, okay? And I also kind of got away from using the scissors. Like I said, it's kind of classy. I like the idea of using the scissors, but it's not as precise as I would like, all right? So those don't get used, all right? I got this CAO cutter from actually a viewer who sent this to me. A while back, people were uh, sending different cigars for me to try, which I thought was awesome. Um, and someone sent this cutter and I used this cutter for a while and I liked it And one of the things I liked most about this is the fact it had a back plate So when you insert the cigar Okay, it can only go so far and then when you make your cut It's just a very small cut you can cut as many times as you need to bring that cut up and open up the cigar as much as you want Unlike something like this where you can obviously do it on the first shot You can put this in as you know as far as you want and cut the cigar But I like the fact that this is making a very small cut if you're not into cigars, one of the big issues with taking too much uh, off on the end here is that these have caps, and the end of the cap is called the shoulder. And if you take all the cap off as you're smoking this, it's going to start unraveling. So you have issues like that. So you want to be able to take the end cap off, but just enough to open up the cigar so you can take a nice draw uh, without taking the entire shoulder off. Because then again, like I said, you have construction issues where it starts to literally unravel and fall apart, which isn't enjoyable. So I like the, uh, the fact that this one had that little plate on the back, but it's cheap, it's plastic, and these got dull real fast. I'm, I mean, literally like five or six cigars I use this uh, cutter on and they're dull. These are dull, there's no way for me to take this apart and there's no way for me to sharpen these with them like this inside the cutter. Plus you can see they're starting to get some surface rust. So I never threw them out, just kind of saved them, but I don't know why. I'll probably throw them out after this video because they're no good. Then I got this from a viewer, which I thought was really cool because this has both a traditional cutter here. This is a single blade. So instead of having two on either side, like the Calibri or any of these other ones here, this just has one blade, right? It just comes across. I don't like the fact that it's just an open hole. I, I do prefer these now with the back plates on them, but this was super cool because this also had a V cutter, okay? Which is over here. And as you can see that basically literally takes a cut in the shape of a V which takes kind of a, a notch out of the end of the cigar. Just a preference thing. I'm not super into V cuts. Uh, I actually really prefer punch cuts, as you guys know, but I am, uh, you know, these days, more often than not using this cutter, which with the cat out of the bag, this is my favorite. So we'll get to that at the end. But I think this is very cool. This is still sharp. 
As you could probably see in here though, that this is not removable to sharpen. I could sharpen this blade if I could take it out, but it's not screwed in. It's just kind of molded. All right, so there's no way to remove that, unfortunately. But it's nice to have a V-cutter every now and again, maybe, you know, break it out and do a V-cut. But I don't use this side. All right, then I got this screw pop tool cutter, which I don't like at all. I do like the fact that, again, I can open this all the way up and easily sharpen both of these edges here, but the blade still stinks, okay? And it's a little awkward to use in getting a cut. I end up getting kind of a crooked cut and things start falling apart. So I'm not a huge fan of this. All right, so I don't really use that, more of a novelty than anything else. But to get to it, this is my favorite cutter, okay? This is a Cuban Crafters cutter. And the reason I got this is because of a recommendation. If you guys are into cigars, you probably already know this individual, but Brian, who runs the channel Cigar Obsession, probably the biggest, I was going to say one of the biggest, but I think he's literally the biggest cigar, pretty much cigar only. I mean, that's mainly what he does. Like 99% of his videos are cigar related uh, here on YouTube. Uh, so huge cigar channel. Obviously, a lot of people watch him, enjoy his videos, as do I. And he uses a Cuban Crafters original cutter, and he swears by it. Absolutely swears by it. I mean, the guy's cut literally thousands of cigars with that cutter. Never need to be sharpened, never need, never gets gunked up or, or jammed or rusted, you know, nothing like that. No issues whatsoever. So after hearing him talk about it, I thought, all right, I'll give it a shot. Found it on Amazon, bought one for 20 bucks. He only specifically recommends the original because that's the only one he really uses i know recently he got the bigger version which cuts up to an i think an 80 ring gauge if you like the huge cigars it's a different version of it because this one only cuts up i believe to a 54 which is fine 99 percent of the cigars i smoke are under a 54 ring gauge um but i didn't go with the original i went with this one simply because i like the ring design as opposed to a d-ring so like the original has kind of d-shaped you know Handles, I guess you call them, as opposed to these round ones. This is the Perfecto model. If you want to know specifically which one this is. But since I got this thing, it is absolutely flawless. I absolutely love it. Solid construction, no rivets or anything. I know Cuban Crafters does have a bunch of different models. Some people have issues with some of them, but the originals and these and the new ones, the uh, 80 ring gauge ones, I haven't heard anyone complain about them. Like I said, solid stainless steel. You can see there's a little brass insert on the back there. It does have a plate similar to the CAO, but the big difference between the CAO and this one is that there's a cutout for Perfectos or Torpedos, which we happen to have here. Okay, here's a Black Ops, the Gurkha Rubicon. So you can see this will poke through the other side to get a nice cut. And I'll give an example of that at the end of the video here. But uh, since getting this, I probably cut maybe 20 cigars. I love it. It's absolutely perfect. It is still razor sharp. I mean, these blades, the actual blade steel, don't know offhand, but it is really, really sharp. And after hearing Brian, which I definitely, uh, you know, take his opinions very seriously, he's very much into the hobby of smoking cigars. And uh, it gives me confidence knowing that he cuts thousands of them and it's still sharp. So this is something that I've really been enjoying and feel like will last a very, very long time. It's worth every penny of the 20 bucks that it costs. All right, so let me give you a quick uh, demo here. Let's move all these. All right, first I'll give you a, a cut on this one. This is a Raptor cigar. All right, so more of a traditional shape. You just rest this right on the ends, okay? Put both blades on either side, hold it nice and straight, and there you go. And once you make your cut, it holds it in there. You can see, nice clean cut. Took off part of the cap there. No tearing or anything. So that's awesome. And again, as far as cutting Perfectos, just as easy. Remove that band. All right. So you're just gonna put it right in the middle here. And again, that's gonna poke out the other side so it keeps it nice and stable. Hold it level. And I kind of put both blades on either side right when it touches it, okay? So they have an even push on both sides. And then snip, okay? And you can see it holds it there. So. Takes off a little cut on the end. A lot of people would want a second cut on these just so you have a better draw. Test this before I cut it again. Seems okay, but we'll open it up a little bit more. Again, just for the demo purposes here. Push it against the back plate. Hold it on both sides. Nice, simple cut. All right. So it makes nice, even, perfect cuts because it is super sharp and just a simple design, all right? 
So I've been extremely, extremely happy with this cutter. And that's why I want to make a video talking about it. Because although I haven't had you know, too many problems with some of these, once they start doling out, they're kind of like throwaways. Most times it's not worth even taking the time to sharpen them because it's just not going to hold an edge. So uh, as far as the cheap plastic ones, I mean, if you don't smoke cigars often, obviously, you know, get the job done. If you're at a smoke shop or something, just want to try one or two. But if you're consistently, you know, enjoying cigars, part of it is the experience in prepping it. You know, getting it ready, making your cut, toasting the foot, lighting it up. That's all part of it, kind of like smoking a pipe. It's ritualistic. So if you have issues with cutting, it kind of ruins the whole experience. So that's pretty much it. Just wanted to touch upon this subject for all the people who are interested in this kind of stuff. As you guys know, I was definitely a, a punch cut guy. You know, I liked them. And I didn't have too many issues with the, the draw being too snug. Every now and again, maybe it was a little bit of a tighter draw because I wasn't opening up the cigar. But using this thing, gets a nice cut on it. No issues at all with draws. And it just stays sharp. It's just a really awesome cutter for 20 bucks. So I definitely recommend it. So that's it. Let me know down below uh, what was the last cigar you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what kind of cut you like. Some people are diehard V-cut guys. Some people, you know, like the guillotine cutters. I mean, just let me know what you're into. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you soon. Take care.